Hi, I'm Stephen Goldrick and this is a short video abstract introducing some recent work we carried out as, point of, as part of a joint collaboration between University College London and Metamune. The aim of the work was to determine the root cause of a trisulfide bond that was detected on a novel antibody peptide fusion. The research involved the use of high throughput microbioreactors, advanced process analytics and the application of multivariate data analysis. Just to give you some background into the project, during the research and development activities of a novel antibody peptide fusion manufactured by Metamune, we identified some product heterogeneities which subtly identified as trisulfide bond. The modification associated with this trisulfide bond altered both the potency and the physical chemical properties of the molecule and therefore required an in-depth investigation. I'm going to pass you on to Nick who will basically talk to you about the uh, trisulfide bond quantification. Measuring a small mass difference in a large protein can be challenging. In this case we needed to measure a 32 Dalton difference corresponding to a trisulfide bond in an antibody peptide fusion weighing over 150 kilodaltons. To do this we used targeted mass spectrometry. We took protein A purified samples, denatured and digested, and then monitored peptides with containing the modification. Using a triple quadrupole mass spectrometer we applied mass filters to distinguish di- and trisulfide bonded peptides and in doing so quantified the level of trisulfide variant down to a single percent. So uh, to investigate which of the key process parameters resulted in high and low trisulfide bond levels, we implemented a three-level fractional factorial design of experiment. One of the big benefits of the high throughput bioreactor system is the sheer volume of data which is generated in each run. Considering all the online and offline uh, data, including manipulated and control uh, variables, combined with initial conditions and on top of that we have product quality, the analysis of this massive data set becomes a daunting multivariate data analysis problem. To address this issue, we, uh, we tackled it using two different approaches. The first was a multilinear regression model uh, that focused solely on the DOE inputs, and the second was a partially squares model, which included all of the available data. Both of these modeling approaches yielded highly valuable insights into the key process parameters which influenced this trisulfide bond and also generated excellent predictions of the trisulfide bond at point of harvest. To further validate the model, we selected some process parameters which yielded both high and low trisulfide bond concentrations, and we implemented these at a 7 liter scale. And the NVDA model generated highly comparable results to the experiment predicted trisulfide bond levels. The insights generated from this work enable the control limits of the key process parameters to be redefined to minimize the trisulfide bond. And if you are interested in understanding the methodology which, which we use to combine both the online and offline process analytics to evaluate the product heterogeneities, please have a look at the paper. And to conclude, I'd like to thank all of my fellow co-authors, specifically William, bon, uh, William Holmes and everyone else that was involved in the project from Metamune and UCL. Thanks very much.